Modern software development is not just about programming. Creating good, efficient software also requires some automation and smart methodologies. Today we have a closer look at one of the latest approaches. And every time you wanted to introduce any change, you had to manually retest all the services and modules. That's right, yes, nearly everything. So I guess it took a lot of time. Exactly. How much, roughly? Roughly speaking, maybe from 300 to 400 testing hours. Wow, for each deployment? For each one, yes. ePoints, like many other popular online services, had to deal with the issue of scale. The number of users, the amount of data, the sheer scope of interconnected services led the company to create a powerful solution that quickly grew and became more complex. We had a number of challenges around um, actual speed of innovation. You've got to get it right for the customer. You need to be able to rapidly innovate and learn and refine and keep moving. Um, and we were definitely, we had some problems with that. The partner selected to speed up the development process and take ePoints to a new level was PGS Software. This company had already experienced rapid growth. Founded by two brothers in 2005, by 2014 it has become a publicly traded business with four development centres, a London sales branch, more than 300 developers and 850 successfully delivered software projects. Establishing good relationship with ePoint's internal teams was our key goal at the beginning of the project. Um, once we build the trust, we base the rest uh, on agile process and DevOps practices. However, traditional development methods soon proved inadequate. So the huge scale of the solution meant that we had to basically try something new. It was very labor demanding. Um, deployment took a lot of time and a lot of effort of developers, the same with the manual testing. The entire situation basically pushed the team to try something new, uh, something that we've been thinking about in different projects before, and luckily the client's in-house development team came on board very uh, quickly uh, with the idea, um, and the methodology that we introduced is called continuous delivery. A recent survey among 4,000 European IT companies with 12,000 software projects showed that only 12% of them introduced basic test automation. Only 2% of these 12% used additional automation tools. This suggests that the number of projects pursuing advanced optimization methods, such as continuous delivery, is smaller than 0.24%. Continuous delivery is an advanced development pipeline that's used mainly by leading online services, such as Netflix or Twitter or Facebook. But in terms of regular businesses, very few have implemented it. My reaction was very positive that PGS were implementing continuous delivery. My concern at the time was having a remote team implement something that was very integrated. So what exactly is continuous delivery? In a traditional delivery model, programmers write new parts of code for some time and then add them to the project in a large, time-consuming deployment. All testing is manual and requires a lot of work. New and updated code goes through several long steps until it finds its way to the publicly available product. By contrast, under a continuous delivery model, any piece of code a programmer finishes immediately enters a sophisticated automated pipeline. Changes are integrated into the main code automatically, creating a new numbered version of the software product. A wide range of automated testing scripts and other methods is used to evaluate the new version and to drastically limit room for human error. A test instance of a new product is built in the cloud, independently of the current live version. Authorised people in the organisation are notified about the new build, evaluate it and then decide if it should go live or not. This approach has many benefits. Most importantly, it saves time and money with each deployment. The longer the system is supported, the bigger the savings. We had an increase of velocity uh, in story points um, by about 20%, where we was able to get more work into our sprints. Another important benefit is the reduced risk of a critical failure. When deploying a large number of changes at the same time, one bad piece of code may compromise the entire deployment. Deploying new pieces of software one by one greatly reduces the risk 
and makes it easier to track down errors or roll back changes. You know, it's the automation and the confidence you get, the fact that everything's automated, that nothing can get pushed out that degrades what we've got. It's definitely easier to, um, to fix bugs because you're doing um, testing on a much smaller changes in code base because you're doing it in much smaller chunks and incrementally. Implementing continuous delivery takes some time, but first benefits appear almost instantly. Introducing even partial automation of the delivery pipeline already helps cut down on deployment time. The release day was a nightmare for every person in the project, but that was before. Now it's almost like a piece of cake. However, for many businesses, the main benefit of continuous delivery comes down to just two words, reaction time. It greatly reduces time to market or the time it takes for the end users to actually see the changes introduced by developers. You can be pushing uh, and testing against a, a bit of application software and pushing production within, uh, within minutes rather than days. And quick product updates make another benefit possible. Continuous feedback, which is a welcome side effect of the continuous delivery approach. It means that the client can immediately test every small addition to the product in an environment that looks and behaves exactly like the final version will. Thanks to the fact that we've delivered hundreds of projects to our clients, we have tools, methodologies, knowledge to be able to deliver new things like continuous delivery to regular businesses which don't necessarily have that knowledge or experience in-house. It was very successful and it was a great experience for us. So we started to offer this to our other clients and use it in a lot of other projects. Even though they're based in Poland, they're, they're part of our team. You know, they, uh, the way we view it and the way that they view it as well. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without very close cooperation with, uh, with our clients.